if I could persuade you to believe what tonight I hope I well, I will try to. Your entire world would change. You hear the word God, the word Jehovah, the word Lord, the word Jesus, the word Christ, and you think of something other than yourself. One that is greater, one that you would worship. Tonight it is my purpose to show you that God and the eye of man are one. When you say, I am, that is the God of Scripture. Confined as you are, you think, how could it be? God created the universe and sustained it. And here I am, like a little worm, three score in ten years, and then I vanish. Now we find Christ being defined in the New Testament as the power of God and the wisdom of God. So the eye of man is the power of God and the wisdom of God. If man does not know it, well then he will not exercise that power. He will not exercise that wisdom. So tonight I am trying to persuade you that when you say I, before you say anything, that that is the power and the wisdom of God. And you can't separate the power of God and the wisdom of God from God. So you will say in the end, I and my Father are one. For he is called the Son of God. Now we are called upon to test this, if it be true. Can we test it? I hope you'll put it to the test. When I tell you that your own wonderful I amness is God, though prior to that you believe that you are little something, moving across the earth for a few years, 70 years, and then you will vanish. In the hope of some restoration, but a hope, no assurance. Well, now I'm going to tell you that you really are God. Your own wonderful consciousness, your human imagination, that is the God of Scripture. And there is no other God. You descended into generation in a world of death where everything begins, it waxes, it wanes, and then it disappears. But there's something in you clothed in this garment that does die. That is pre-existent. And its home is heaven. You are that fiery being that descended. Not because of anything that was wrong when you descended. The fall is not because of any mistake on our part. It's a predetermined plan to come down into the world of death and decay and overcome it. If coming down, wearing these garments, we knew who we were, pretending that we were men, we could not accomplish it. But the eye of man is the God of Scripture. Put it to the test. 
to first affirming that I am. You could then assume that I am, and you name exactly what you want to be. <clears throat> if you believe what I tell you about your own I amness, and remain faithful to what you have assumed, that assumption will harden in the fact. When you pray <clears throat> in the true sense of the word, you do not pray to any external God. This is what I do. Having convinced myself through experience, I have come to the conclusion that because I am aware that I am, that that is God. For if by him all things are made, and without him is not anything made that is made, And I start from scratch, only imagining a state. And then I boldly assume that it is real. That I am actually experiencing that state now. And then in the not distant future, that state crystallizes in my world. Well then I have found God. I have found the source of the phenomena of life. 